And good morning, everybody. Welcome back. We're here with Jeff Corcini from FantasyFootballStarters.com. He's got more great advice on how to make sure your fantasy football team ends up on top today. I can promise you several things are true. One, mine is not going to end up on top. <laughs> and, you know, one of the things I think that's important that people start thinking about today, week four, what do you do when you start seeing those injuries? You start seeing how your team's really playing is it too early to make trades? No, now's the perfect time. As a matter of fact, we've got some results in for the first three weeks. So now is when GMs and fantasy fans start tinkering with that roster a little bit. Now is when you start making some moves. And we've got some candidates that are on the buy low, sell high. Mm -hmm. So a couple of players that are right now good candidates to pick up, starting out with wide receiver Lee Evans of the Buffalo Bills. He's had, they have had some tough matchups. J.P. Lossman hasn't been a real good quarterback. He got injured. They're going to actually replace him with Trent Edwards, the rookie this week. We think that he's got a huge upside going forward. A lot of GMs are frustrated with his performance. We see him continuing to get better. Mm -hmm. Another player is Maurice Jones-Drew, running back out of Jacksonville. They've had some tough matchups. Jones-Drew came on real strong last mm -hmm. year as a rookie, surprised everybody. Buddy. Um, they've also adjusted to a new quarterback, David Garrard. So those are some players that right now, if you, if you want to make some moves on your roster, those are players you want to pick up. I got to tell you, part of the thing is I feel like a Fairweather fan. You know, we're four <laughs> weeks into it. I told you Steven Jackson was my running back, my first round pick. He's injured right now. He's not going to play today, but I hate to bounce him off the team. No, you, know? you don't want to do that. That's a good point. You want to pick up his backup. Maybe you handcuffed Brian Leonard. Mm -hmm. I think he's got a good shot at it, too. Um, a couple of players that right now that are kind of playing well and you may want to look at moving them on the sell high candidacy because they've got some injuries. Um, Plaxico Burris, wide receiver of the New York Giants, he's been injured week in and week out, putting up real good numbers, but every week he's turning into a game time decision. You don't know whether to start him or not. Another player is Amon Green, uh, running back with the Houston Texans. Had a lot of success in Green Bay. He's come to Houston, kind of dinged up a little bit. So these are players that are dinged up a little bit don't know if they're going to have that upside like they've had in recent weeks. Any pocket ace? I mean, anybody that you can think about that no one's talking about? Come on, give us Well, right now, a little super sleeper. I need it. Would, a super sleeper for you would probably be Gus Farad, mm -hmm. be, uh, backup quarterback. Super, super sleeper because of the injuries to Mark Bulger. He's probably at some point in time going to start because Bulger, Bulger's got sore ribs and he can't continue to get beat up like he has. So that's a super sleeper that actually came from one of our NFL analysts, Russ Bliss. And probably one of the most important questions that I think people are asking themselves is what do you do when all your friends from high school are talking trash about the team that you put together? I have friends all over the country emailing me making fun of my team. Yeah, well, you tell them, you know what you do is you just can tell them, let them know it's a marathon, it's not a sprint, right. you want to move forward. Um, another thing, too, we want to talk about is let's feature that Arizona Cardinal player that we've been doing week in and week out. And this week it's Neil Rackers. Neil Rackers, the kicker for the Arizona Cardinals, solid, solid kicker. Um, fantasy points come by way of kickers, as we well know, and this guy has done a great job. He may even be the difference maker this week when they go up against the Steelers. Two weeks ago, he had a big kick that helped win the game um, against Seattle, and we see him as a top five fantasy kicker. So go out and get yourself a good kicker. That'll help, too. How do you do that, though? How do you measure injuries like that? I mean, certainly something like Steven Jackson, we don't think it's going to be a season-ending injury, right. but do you, you take that into consideration? Oh, absolutely. The absolutely. Like you said, the results that we've got from the first three weeks, mm -hmm. it's something that's nagging. That's why you want to handcuff those number one performers and get their backups, and Brian Leonard would be a good one. So it's okay to be a fair weather fan somewhat. You know, it's kind of like stocks. You hate to, you hate to, yeah. once it goes down a little bit. But once the to. market gets moving, you got to make a move. Yeah. Okay. Jeff Corcini, thank you so much. Appreciate it.